Scientists are looking to the past to help predict our future. Makes sense. Weather data in uh, centuries-old logbooks from whaling ships is providing critical data on shifting weather patterns. WBZ meteorologist Sarah Robleski explains how in tonight's Eye on Earth. Man versus whale. An age-old tale. Today, whaling is largely forbidden. Scores of whalers set sea from right here in New Bedford with dreams of catching the big one. Now, hundreds of years later, historians and climate scientists are studying their journeys and have discovered a whale of a find. Every vessel, and it's not just whalers, it's pretty much any vessel that's a seagoing vessel, they keep a, a daily logbook. Consider it a diary, a legal document of the wild adventures that whalers encountered that lasted months to even years. It was the one document that they tried to save if ever the ship ran into a problem. Uh, they're recording any important incidents that happen on board. They're recording when they catch a whale. Multiple times a day, they're recording the weather. Between the ink and drawings. The light breeze from the south. Priceless data was being observed. They go everywhere in the world's oceans and they're gathering weather data that you can't get anywhere else. And that is scientifically gold data. <laughs> the world's largest collection of whaling logbooks and journals are right here at the New Bedford Whaling Museum. They have over 2,500, dating back to 1668. And researchers have found, as they're all handwritten, that has its challenges. This is not machine readable information. It's all handwritten. Computers can't analyze this. Researchers have combed through over 120 logbooks so far, gathering key information like latitude, longitude, and wind data. But the technology wasn't what it is today. Wind speed was estimated by sailors' visual observations. The words that they used had a definite meaning. The Beaufort wind scale goes very high. It's a force 12 is a hurricane, essentially. And we don't have a lot of recordings of that. And a significant portion of whalers, you know, never made it back to port. Um, and those are ones that probably some of them recorded the most hairy weather conditions. The ones that did return, their weather reports are being implemented into modern day climate computer models. And so one of the questions we had is, well, um, how does the wind system that we see today compare to the whaler's time 200 years ago? Scientist Caroline Umenhofer specializes in wind patterns over the Indian and Southern Ocean, an area with limited historical weather data, but a popular area for whalers to travel. This very strong belt of westerly winds uh, that go all the way around Antarctica, and uh, they were known as the Roaring uh, 40s. Um, because they are located near 40 degrees south. Whalers use that to pass through the tip of South Africa and move quickly to the Pacific Ocean. And what we see is actually uh, that uh, there has been a southward shift and the whalers that were recording it really as the roaring 40s. The strongest winds now are more in the 50s, so it should probably be more the furious 50s. A change that has impacted parts of the world that depend on those westerly winds to transport rain to the area. Leaving uh, southern Australia and um, southern Africa high and dry. And researchers still have thousands of weather reports to uncover in logbooks that could give more clues to our climate future locally. We're really keenly aware of what's going on with the climate today and, and issues with climate change. And in order to understand better what is happening to our climate in the present, it's very, very important to have these long data sets, a long arc of understanding about the weather going back hundreds of years. This project with additional researchers and funding is expected to take a few years and then hopefully expand to European naval logbooks that go back even further in time. I'm meteorologist Sarah Robleski, WBZ News. Mm, yeah. 200 years isn't that long ago. No, right? weather no. patterns. It's amazing, though, how well those are preserved as Incredible. well. Incredible. Yeah.